Hey guys, this is Junaid Pesney, back with another video, and today I got a couple of announcements with uh, Saucedacity. First off, Saucedacity 1.0 has actually been released uh, at this point for seven days now. I released it on the 11th, but that was only the Linux build initially, which you see here. Yes, I still have to do some branding changes, as you just have seen. And yes, there's that, but other than that, this is the final 1.0 release. It's been out for a couple of days. I haven't committed anything since then, but I do I do plan to remove any Audacity branding. I'll just replace it with some generic pictures. Like, we won't see any logos, but yeah, that's one thing. Uh, second off, I do have better news, however. Finally, have I gotten a Windows build out? And it's a 64-bit it's a build. I'm a build a 32-bit build, but please give me a rest because, um, well, I, I just, it was a bit of a time while trying to build it, really. And, uh, but I was mostly correct with the dependencies, albeit, well, apparently I guess they were, they just didn't work because I guess some symbols weren't found or whatever. Nevertheless, I was able to get it work, um, using, believe it or not, Conan's uh, DLLs. So, like I just searched in like dot Conan in my user profile on the Windows build and all, and the Windows VM I was using, and I found some DLLs there after going in a couple of folders, and actually those work for whatever reason. I mean, I don't know what I was doing wrong really, but I guess those DLLs work. So here we have a working Windows build. But uh, yeah, so that's literally all there is to this video, and it's probably only just one minute or so yeah only two minutes but um i'm gonna discuss the next release which it is confirmed 1.0.1 so what's going to be in release 1.0.1 banning changes maybe a couple of things here and there maybe i might this i i swear i would change the window title here but yep things are just going to be Changes left and right regarding branding, but for now, what's new in 1.1? Literally nothing, except for the removal of telemetry and any networking features, of course. So that's literally all there is. Enjoy your free, your free of spyware build of Audacity, aka Sustacity. Except I actually plan to have more things coming too. However, though, I did find a regression. It appears that if we go on to effects, there are no plugins. Like, nothing is listed here. And this happens across all builds. So, and we see that every single plugin, nothing's enabled, all is disabled, nothing's in a new state, everything's just disabled. Even the built-in ones for whatever reason, but okay. So, notice however, oh, whoops. But there's one thing I want to uh, take a look at. It appears that let's say we have this effect you see that's it's pulling it from my um, from this directory from projects build bin release and plugins of course so if I launch audacity however so I'm gonna close out this and oh whoops if I if I'm gonna go to audacity this is 2.4.2 also note and this comes from um, the Pop OS Repos or Ubuntu Repos, whichever is correct. If we go to here, you notice that everything's appeared, and even this too. But, if we go here, now you can notice the difference. You can see that it's user share audacity plugins. So, maybe there could be something revolving around, revolving around there. And no, my Sauce Audacity build, which I just also built today. Nope. Uh, no further changes, first off. Uh, second, no, it doesn't appear to be pulling plugins from there, but other than that, we're, we're still able to do some basic editing. So, like, uh, we could do this is some audio editing and we could play it back. So, like, back. Wait, let me do that again, actually. This is some audio editing and we could play it back. Yeah, you might have heard that either twice, depending on where we're coming from, but, yeah, so, ultimately, um, yeah, so, Sauce 1.0 release, 
go check it out. I'll have a page to download it in in the description. I'll have a link so you can download it in the description. Windows and Linux. Um, all, all entirely 64-bit. No macOS builds, but if you if you feel, if you want to go ahead and build a macOS version, a macOS version. If you want to build a Mac version, and if you want to submit that, go ahead. And it's literally the exact same instructions as you build Audacity. So that's it. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is. No telemetry. We even still got some Audacity brand in which, um, now as I think of it, that's kind of why I want, that's kind of why I'm doing a 1.0.1 release, um, for the next release is because, well, um, these are registered trademarks and as we're facing Muse Group now, um, I think you know where we're coming from, right? If not, this. Yeah, I don't, I'm. I don't want to get in trouble for that. But yeah, I'm just gonna replace everything with more or less generic logos. Other than that, that's literally going to be the same thing. And hopefully, I get to fix the plugin directories. Maybe if we could do that. But yeah, so that's all there is. Literally. Um. Yep. So go check it out. Um, go check out Sauce Nasty. I'll be making my couple of changes, perhaps soon, if not today. As you can see now, we are 71 commits behind, so we are technically behind main, um, upstream. I, I keep saying mainstream, but it, it's upstream, really. Well, I guess at the same time, but whatever. So, I don't know, though. I am debating if I should merge these changes, the upstream changes. I have left a review, of course... Um, everything except telemetry is going to be removed. That's actually, it's actually going to be merged into, um, oops, sorry about that. Upstream changes, it's going to be merged into here. Um, so that way we can inspect it just to make sure no telemetry ever gets through. Just in case if that somehow ever happens. Because again, the sole goal of this project, bring back the sauce to Audacity. Because it has sauce, but... Muse Group decided to get rid of it, so I'm meaning it back. Alright, but anyways. Yep, so that's it. Um, yep, hopefully you found this video helpful. Maybe you enjoyed it, I guess, but yep. So it's Destiny 1.0. Go download it. And yep, I'll see you in the next video.